Hello, my soccer universe. What is this? A Milan fan wearing Inter? Yeah, half a year ago. This would have been unthinkable. A bit more than half a year ago. Watching this channel and watching teams, I soften on my stances. But yeah, that I'm wearing Inter has a completely other reason. I thought, who shall I put on for this what to wear video, or uh, what to watch video? Uh, mainly because, you know, I didn't want to wear anything more big clash and I said, well, well let's wear my new Milan jersey and I thought, nah, gonna jinx them that way. How about jinxing the rival? Here we go. I know my jinx doesn't work that way, but yeah, uh, change. Change up for a little bit. As I said, um, this is kind of the opposite from last weekend. Uh, most games that I want to watch are on Sunday and not Saturday, but let's go through the leagues and uh, top five and I add two more. Um, three more actually, where there are interesting matches that might be wo uh, worth watching if you can get to. In Spain, Real Madrid, who to me look like the team that is going to be the new champions, play Alaves early on Saturday. Celta Valladolid on Friday, I'm not sure if that's a great matchup. I like actually Valencia Villarreal, that seems to be the game to watch uh, Saturday evening probably. Real Sociedad Eibar could be interesting, Basque Derby. But I think it's all about the Sunday evening game between Athletic Madrid and Barcelona, although I fear this will be a nil-nil. I, I don't think it will be a good game. All that I've seen so far, I don't expect anything um, exciting. Sevilla might be a good team, played Leganes, could be many goals in there, maybe Athletic Club Granada, who knows. Uh, in England, uh, there is really not a game that sticks out to me, too, to be honest. Newcastle and Manchester City, maybe, that's the first one. Uh, Chelsea plays West Ham, Liverpool, Brighton, Spurs, Bournemouth, <laughs> take your pick. I um, don't find anything really exciting in there. Norwich, Arsenal, Leicester, Everton, probably, and Manchester United, Aston Villa. Uh, but there are other games that I want to watch at that time. So... Premier League, a little bit not so great. Uh, Bundesliga, Schalke Union is probably the game for Friday evening. Hertha Dortmund got very exciting now because Jürgen Klinsmann is the new coach of Hertha, at least for now. Um, that might be why I, all eyes are on it, but Hertha is in a really bad form, have lost four in a row. Dortmund needs to make a turnaround. Uh, by the time this pause, you probably know how they played in the Champions League. I'm sure they know because they're playing tonight when I'm recording this. I don't know yet. So this is kind of a game, a uh, crisis game. The big matchup, I guess, is Bayern against Bayer. But I don't expect anything but a clear win for Bayer and Gladbach Freiburg uh, Sunday afternoon. Uh, there's even a Monday game, Mainz Frankfurt, a local derby. I think the most interesting one, at least for me, are in Italy. Brescia Atalanta is a derby right there uh, with a huge ri rivalry on Saturday. So that uh, seems to me good. Genoa Torino is a team between traditional teams, but I think Parma Milan, I like that matchup uh, quite some. Inter Spal at the same time, Lazio Udin at the same time. Napoli Bologna, I'm. Softening my stance on Bologna a little bit. They are not that great. And Hellas, Roma, yeah. Again, also nothing really. Yeah, I will much watch Milan. It's a perfect spot for me. So I'm going to watch that and let's see what Inter is doing at the same time. Uh, in France, I'm also looking. Monaco, PSG, Sunday evening. But there's also Atletico Barcelona, so I'm not going to watch that one. Marseille, Brest, Friday evening, might be a rival to Schalke Union, to be honest, but nothing really great there either. In Austria, the big one, and that's what I watched, my last is playing Rapid, that's uh, second against fourth, uh, not that it's close in the table, but it's always a very passionate game, two pretty big fan bases, we play at the moment in a very small stadium, this might change, but that there's a lot of... Uh, anxiety, I guess, in Vienna on this, and let's see how Lask will do in the Europa League. So, yeah, that's the big matchup in Austria. Every, every, everything else is pretty uh, clear on one side. I mean, a huge game for the table, Austria against Hartberg. Uh, if Austria wants to get into the top six to make it into the championship playoff, they gotta beat Hartberg. Uh, that much has to be clear. Another one where there's a big game is Denmark, where we have a Copenhagen Derby <laughs> Sunday very early, 11.45. I wonder about that kick of time. But yeah, that's second against third, although mid Jylland is far is ahead of both of these. But, you know, I saw this once uh, live on TV, and that seems to be a really cool game with a lot of atmosphere play, of course, in the parking in Copenhagen. So that's always... Uh, 
at least for other spectators, a nice uh, game to watch. And then a really huge game, and probably um, the second biggest F Atletico against um, Barcelona is happening in Greece. Uh, Olympiakos Pauk, the two top teams, they are level on points, Sunday, 6.30. If you have a chance to watch it, unfortunately I don't. If you have a chance, that's a game to watch. Uh, on Saturday, there's also uh, third against fourth, OFI from Crete and Ike Athens. So there are quite some top of the table clashes in Greece as well. Let me know what you'll be watching. I think Sunday it's Milan, it's Lask, and then I'll watch Atleti. And Saturday I'll let myself guide a pro probably somewhere uh, between Spain, Germany, or something like that. I will go, let's see, maybe I watch some Premier League. I will probably watch Premier League highlights uh, Sunday morning. Anyway, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that would be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. With that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye.